recent years, vegetarians and vegans have begun complaining that such ales are not friendly to them. Are they or aren't they? The answer may surprise you. The bottom layer consists of solids, the middle layer is the acid solution, and the thin upper layer is fat. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 vegetarian foods that may be secretly hiding animal byproducts. For this list, We'll be ranking the foods that some vegetarians may think are a proven part of their diet, but may be secretly hiding animal byproducts within their ingredients. Although there may be vegetarian-friendly options of the foods on our list, the average examples of these items just might be hiding something a little extra. Number 10. Pre-made pie crusts Go! So you're getting ready to make your go-to favorite flavor of homemade pie but are a little short on time and need to resort to buying a pre-made crust. Should you worry about breaking your vegetarian diet? Well, if you'll be roaming the regular grocery store aisles, then yes. This is because some pre-made pie crusts you find on store shelves actually contain animal lard as one of their ingredients. Don't believe us? Head to the Pillsbury website and click on the ingredients for its refrigerated pie crusts. One easy way to avoid this pitfall, however, is to hit up the frozen food section instead, as the pie crusts there are intended to last longer and are often made using shortening or butter. Number 9. Orange Juice You might not think that the simple act of purchasing a bottle of orange juice could end up involving a complex physiological discussion about its flavor makeup, but sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. This is because the Coca-Cola company reportedly utilizes a process called Black Book to create their Simply Orange brand of juices. This process involves a set of rules that Coke sets up to determine where their consumer base stands on orange juice flavor profiles and keeps OJ production consistent across the board. However, the vitamin D of Coke's OJ and that of some other brands supposedly comes from the sheepskin-derived substance known as lanolin, which means that those following a veggie diet should probably stay away if they'd rather be safe than sorry. Lan lanolin? Like, like sheep's wool? Also, be wary of orange juice that's fortified with omega-3s like Tropicana's Pure Premium Healthy Heart, as the label explicitly states that it contains fish oil. Number 8. Red Candies I don't mess with no heroin, but I love me some candy. It's been called carmine, cochineal, or natural red, and it may be present in wine or other alcoholic drinks, ice cream, and some red candies. In reality, the ingredient that gives many red candies their color is derived from ground-up cochineal insects that are usually found in South America. Although there are no health risks associated with eating these bugs, apart from those who are allergic to cochineal, some people just find the whole process, well, kind of gross. And it also goes without saying that those who are trying to go vegetarian are advised to carefully read through those food labels, especially since this ingredient used to be just listed as natural colors. Search for these keywords, carminic acid, or it could say carmine, or like in the case of this jello, they just went right out ahead and said cochineal extract or bug juice. Number seven, cake mix. You've been using a box cake mix? Relax, I only use it when I'm tired. Remember how we mentioned to carefully read those food labels while in the grocery store? This tip also applies when seeking out a boxed cake mix for that next birthday party. According to Eat This Not That, it's not uncommon for these mixes to feature animal shortening, like beef or pork fat, as one of their key ingredients for their light and fluffy cake. No! It's usually listed on the box as lard. It's not recommended eating for any vegetarian party. Instead, perhaps try looking up a recipe online for a from-scratch cake mix. That way, you can ensure that any cake you bake will be veggie-friendly for all. What am I doing? Come on, Angelo. Hey! Number 6. Salted Peanuts At Planners, living a healthy lifestyle is important. Have you ever wondered how all of that delicious salt, barbecue flavoring, or honey mustard spices stick so well to those party peanuts in a jar? Were you ever worried that there would somehow be an animal product involved that would dash your dreams of a vegetarian lifestyle? Be sure to check and double-check those ingredient labels for the inclusion of gelatin, a product derived from animal bones and connective tissues that keeps these flavorings on the peanuts. Kraft Foods' official Twitter account even confirmed their planter's dry-roasted peanuts are from a beef source. But don't panic, as there are thankfully plenty of organic and natural food options, such as peanuts in the shell that keep the gelatin away and the peanut flavor intact. We've got about 900 pounds of nuts in here. Oh, oh nuts! Number 5. White Sugar Bone Char Does that sound like a sweet, tasty ingredient you'd like to enjoy on a daily basis? 
Well, it might be if you're one of the millions of people who add a little sugar to their coffee every morning. This is because, historically, refining process so often associated with white sugar, as well as some brown and confectioner sugar, utilizes heated cow bones to burn off impurities. These cows usually come from Pakistan, India, and Afghanistan, and have died of natural causes before the bones are sun-bleached and sold to the sugar industry for use in this process. We're seriously thinking of taking our coffee black from now on. Or, you know, looking for those certified cane sugars that aren't processed this way. Two cups of good, hot, black coffee. Like this. Number 4. Bagels slash bread. No! God, please, no! No! We really hate continually being the bearers of bad news here. But put that bagel down. At least until you've finished reading about our number 4 entry. L-cysteine is an amino acid that is used by major bakery chains like Dunkin' Donuts to condition their dough and is derived from either poultry feathers or pig hoofs, and possibly even human hair. You're eating hair! <laughs> this ingredient is commonly found in bakery items such as bagels, although the frozen variety from Thomas's bagels have been found to be L-cysteine free. The best way to avoid the enzyme altogether is to simply support your local bakery. We feature local products as much as possible, and we also use as many organic ingredients as we can. Number 3. Bananas Oh, come on, we can hear you say, not bananas too. Well, here's the good news, buying organic bananas are still a safe bet. The bad news? The bananas you've been eating may have included a bit of shellfish, and you didn't even know it. A 2012 report by Science Daily revealed a spray-on solution was being developed, whose purpose was to extend the shelf life of bananas, keeping them from turning brown and mushy so quickly. This solution would be partially made from chitosan, a substance derived from the shells of crab and shrimp. Setting shellfish allergies aside, this is obviously terrible news for vegetarians, as they now have to be even more vigilant on their shopping trips to make sure this coating hasn't yet been implemented. Number 2. Beer and Wine Well, beer, we've had some great times. For the most part, beer and wine are suitable beverages for those with vegan or vegetarian lifestyles. There are, however, a few notable exceptions, specifically some cask ales brewed in Britain. Cask ales are served usually from a hand pump, which will force air in and cause the beer to come out. These unpasteurized beers are sometimes filtered in a process that uses isinglass, a collagen that is obtained from the dried swim bladders of fish, such as sturgeon. We usually don't like to advertise that fact. No. Luckily, there are vegetarian-friendly clarifiers that can be created by using clay or algae, giving beer and wine lovers some options. But it's also advisable to check beforehand to ensure that brew you're drinking is animal-free. So now, Guinness is pledging to abandon the process starting next year. Before we reveal our biggest veggie fakeout, here are a few honorable or perhaps dishonorable mentions. Number 1. Vanilla Ice Cream You did it, Dan, ice cream! We've saved the grossest for last. If you've ever read the term natural flavoring when reading the side of that carton of vanilla ice cream, then guess what? You may have been consuming beaver butt juice. Okay, not exactly, but close enough. It's actually a substance called castorium that's derived from the secretions of the castor sacs or scent glands of North American and European beavers, which they use to musk and mark their territory. It's been found in perfumes and Swedish schnapps, as well as in, you guessed it, good old vanilla ice cream. And while it's not always used as a vanilla substitute, it has been in use for decades. The FDA may have acknowledged castorium as a safe food additive for carnivores, but vegetarians are highly advised to instead look for vegan options, or hit up that from scratch local creamery. I am having a love affair with this ice cream sandwich. You want some? You want take a bite? Please. Take a bite. Please. Do you agree with our list? Which vegetarian options do you think are leading a secret double life? It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. For more intriguing top 10 lists published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Yep, it's made with bits of real panther, so you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah.